I'm Katrina Julian in the Newswatch newsroom. Coming up next, a special tribute to a special singer. I'm Katrina Julian in Redondo Beach where police are looking for this attempted kidnapping suspect. That story coming up. Breaking news tonight out of Glendale. That's where a big rig truck plowed into a flower stand. At this point, no word on any injuries. I'm Katrina Julian here in Hollywood where the red carpet isn't the only thing running red. Hear what celebrities like Billy Burke from Twilight are saying about the premiere of Blood River. Those stories and more next on Newswatch. Good evening, I'm Katrina Julian in the Newswatch newsroom. The search for a predator tops the news tonight. The suspect attacked a teenage girl in Redondo Beach. I talked with police and neighbors about the crime and what they're doing about it. Take a good look at this composite sketch. Redondo Beach police are asking for your help in catching this attempted kidnapping suspect. Michelle Turner's family lives in the neighborhood where the incident happened. It's very scary in this neighborhood. You wouldn't think that something like this can happen. The attack happened last night on the 2200 block of Gates Avenue. The suspect drove up alongside a 17-year-old girl and tried to grab her. While the girl got away, Redondo Beach Police Lieutenant Paul Reitzman has this advice. First of all, if any stranger approaches you on the street uh, and calls you over, which is a common method uh, for uh, uh, people who want to kidnap somebody to do, uh, don't approach the vehicle. One positive in this case is that people in this area are used to helping the police through their neighborhood crime watch. Police say that can lead to a quicker arrest. I don't think it's good to be afraid all the time and stay in your house. The suspect is described as a white male in his late 40s, early 50s and is about 6 feet tall. He's said to have a ruddy complexion, stocky build and gray brownish blonde hair. Lilia Lopez says she will be on the lookout. We just have to be aware and try to get somebody to, you know, report everything. Now that I see his face, i definitely be looking at people as they come by, and if I see anyone within that description, I will definitely, you know, let the local police know. If you recognize the suspect, give Redondo Beach Police a call. In other news, America's Biggest Actors Union held its biggest awards event last night, and one of Motown's brightest stars was the Man of the Hour. Legendary singer Smokey Robinson received the coveted Amy Award from the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, better known as AFTRA. They honored Robinson for his career-long dedication to helping young people reach their goals. Finally tonight, a new horror movie brought out some of Hollywood's biggest fright fans. I talked with the stars about Blood River and why they like to be frightened. You told your lady what you found back at the car. You're looking at Blood River, the latest fright fest out of Hollywood. At its premiere, stars of the new thriller talked about what horror fans can expect. Andrew Howard plays the movie's mysterious villain. It was a wonderful opportunity for me to, 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 to really go, go wild and, and crazy because, and I can't tell you why because, the character has no boundaries and no limits. The film follows a couple who get stranded in a ghost town. They meet a drifter who they think will help, but really has bad intentions. Director Adam Mason says this is not your typical slasher film. And I think that, you know, the scariest thing to imagine is that your neighbor's a serial killer or something like that, you know? So I was trying to make something that was just more real and uh, less like sore and that kind of stuff, you know? It's Mason's unique take on this psychological thriller that has celebrity moviegoers buzzing on the red carpet. And here in Hollywood, that's a big accomplishment. <laughs> Twilight star Billy Burke is no stranger to Hollywood's dark side. We've heard a lot of great things about it so far, and we're just uh, here with open minds and hoping uh, for greatness. It's a phenomenal film, and the director is enormously talented, and it was super low budget, and they did it, shot it, and made it, edited it, and now it has a premiere on Hollywood Boulevard, so it's pretty awesome to support. Blood River opens next week. That's going to do it for tonight. Thank you for watching Newswatch. I'm Katrina Julian. You take care.